and I'm honored, of course, to host uh, to host my very uh, my teacher back in the year 2008 when you we were looking for internship and tamaki <laughs> with uh, Bernardo. Ten, you remember those days? You welcomed totally. me to K24. Absolutely, you, yes. you, you are the one who started K24 actually when it was. Uh, actually, you know, I was sitting at the reception and remembering all these things that I actually, I actually set up the sports unit in this place. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was remembering, and I was also remembering when you came in and you were very bold and you 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 just knocked and said, "Look, I, I would like to do this and what." And we were giving chances, and I said, can you, okay, go, go ahead. And I, I'm glad you're here. Uh, thank I'm you glad very you're here. I, and I remember, of course, you have still one issue that uh, still bothers you about <laughs> me crawling off the set. I, I still think you owe the viewers an answer. Why did you crawl out of the set? Uh, what, of what, what did it add <laughs> to the show? Of what value was it? I really would like to know. Because I, I, thought, I thought something hit you. I thought your knees buckled. I thought you were fainting. I, I thought shots fired. I, I mean... <laughs> it, it was character. I was in character. <laughs> No, we often say you don't shock your viewer, you know, you, you yeah. don't, because... You have to explain what's happening. Yeah, unless it's something in your throat or something, but falling on, on fours, that, that, was, that was new. I, I've, I've never seen that. <laughs> Thank I, you very much. At least uh, Bernard has <laughs> accepted that uh, his lessons went down very well. <laughs> That's Bernard, of course, we'll be sharing about uh, football coming to the country. You had asked uh, Bernard to come, or one of the best commentators to come to the studio, if you have questions, I know you have questions, at Kualanda, at K24TV, Tony Kualanda on Facebook is where you can, of course, send those particular questions. And uh, Bernard is here to share with them because he is in the business. Ka untaka kazi ya commentary, tafadhali. Anza kutume hizo maswali na utume contact zako. Utaiza pata kazi. Hivi hivi tu, kwa zata mini nipata kazi kupitia ye. So it's your chance as well to get into this business. Now, quickly, there is a football tweet. Uh, Kenya Premier League on the official Twitter handle uh, shared this particular tweet yesterday during the Valentine's. And they said, to those wondering why we do not uh, schedule or schedule matches on this day, it's because no team wants to play away from home. Hey, hey. <laughs> so I will ask Bernard. Uh, Bernard, uh, what do you think about this tweet? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice, naughty football tweet. Uh, playing away from home in this instance could mean two things. Eh? Yeah. You, you, when you are a team that is playing away from your ground, you're playing from home. Eh? Yeah. But you know, in the romantic sense as well, there's playing at home and playing away. Yeah? So <laughs> whoever did that, I know what you did there. <laughs> you can see it. Uh, please, you go yeah, ahead. It's, uh, but it's, it, was a, it was a nice first way. Uh, well, it's get... a naughty way of uh, acknowledging the fact that they are also in the Valentine's mode. Eh? But you can't just say we are not having matches because it's Valentine's. No, no, mm -hmm. you've got to caught it a bit eh? and they've quoted it in a little bit of um, uh, a little bit of naughtiness which is not bad oh, which is not bad <laughs> no team God. no team loses points here <laughs> <laughs> whether on the field or on <laughs> valentine's day <laughs> <laughs> what were men's conference <laughs> <laughs> of course as we continue now yeah. uh, wayne rooney if uh, my director uh, Amonyole, wayne rooney's marriage is on the rocks and uh, of course, I brought in Bernardo Tieno because he has had a one on one close relationship with Whoa. Rooney in terms of football. Rooney's marriage has problems. Reason being, Colin did not spend the Valentine's Day with uh, Rooney yesterday. So you can see, as in Angalevan, you are Mekatu. The wife is looking the other side, the man is looking this other side. And uh, Rooney is saying, and has told one of his pals, that he is contemplating divorce. Imagine on Valentine's Day, these two should be together. And if you look, look, closely look at the uh, ring finger, yeah, Colin, oh. there is no ring on that particular finger. The guy went on holiday minus Rooney because Rooney has been drinking too much. He's been caught and charged of drinking too much. Mm -hmm. And that's why there is uh, issues in their marriage. Bernard, uh, Rooney, you had uh, in, in Tanzania Dar es Salaam during the uh, uh, Sport Pesa Cup. Yeah, yeah. How is he like? I mean, does he no, show this kind of stuff? Well, I, just didn't, I, didn't, I didn't spend as much time to be able to know exactly what he does probably in the evenings. But uh, I, I can tell you for sure that there is, there is what comes with being a superstar. Eh? There is what comes with being a superstar. And having made that whole detour from uh, my new Everton and then to the Major League Soccer, and now he's on the other side and still making money, and your career is, is going towards the end, but you're making money, you, at this point, you need a manager. Not to manage just your money, but to even manage yourself. There, there's a little bit of a problem when players start drinking too much. You know, essentially, they have a lot of money. Eh? It's true. A lot. And if they wanted to drink, they would drink. Anytime. But you must ask yourself why the other successful players are not drinking as much as he is. Yes. It points to a bigger problem. 
it, it probably just needs to be managed. I don't know exactly what the problem is, but somebody just needs to manage, manage him before he gets down into worse problems than he has at the moment. Very true, because of, okay, sorry. My when you're a superstar, and he is a superstar, both in England, in Africa, he's a mega star, and then now in America, he's also a big star in the Major League Soccer. Uh, the life is a little bit um, um, free, you know? You can have what you want as long as you can pay for it. But somebody needs to tell you, I know you can pay for it, but you're not having this one for now because you have training tomorrow. It will compromise training, it will compromise uh, productivity, he might, he, he, he'll start going down. I don't know what's the issue with the, the wife, but uh, <laughs> most of the times when we hear issues of husband and wife, it's yeah. usually where there's a lot of money. You don't hear a lot of issues where there isn't much money. <laughs> <laughs> you hear stories of how love has put us together, <laughs> it's a cement that brings us together, but when there's too much money, you don't hear that money is a cement. Eh? So. <laughs> Hey, Bernardo Cheno here. Remember, uh, of course, you can ask Bernardo Cheno questions about wow, you, you can start your sporting <laughs> career in terms of speci specifically in the commentary uh, section. And uh, of course, Bernardo Cheno is one, uh, come on, I know many of you are uh, students of him, including myself. Now, uh, just before as we bring in the in depth uh, interview with Bernard, Sport Pesa, the global technology and entertainment company, Sport Pesa, yes. They are now flown all the way to Canada and they are title partners uh, with a Formula One team. And that Formula One team is now known as Sport Pesa Racing Point Team, Formula One team. You know, of course, this 2019 season uh, zooms off in Australia and uh, we should be having those pictures. Yes, uh, this particular pre-launch or at the launch of this particular Formula One team took place all, uh, this past Wednesday, the day before yesterday, uh, and it happened in Canada. Remember, uh, this is the very first time this team is uh, making its debut in the Formula One circuit, and Sport Pesa is uh, on their uh, car. Uh, that particular car will be competing against the likes of Mercedes, the likes of Renault, the likes of uh, Red Bull, and the likes of Ferrari. Now, uh, the car will be conspicuously in blue and pink colors, and uh, some of the drivers for this particular, who will be in the cockpit, I'm told uh, the racing cars have cockpit, we have Perez, and uh, Stroll will be the drivers of this particular Sport Pesa Racing Point team. On, in March, the, I think the, the, I'm forgetting these dates, the March the 13th is when we're having it in Australia, the Formula One, uh, season kick uh, zooming off and that's where you need to watch the Sport Pesa uh, Formula One car. You can imagine they sponsor, I had, a, I had an interview from that, Limbona Metoayo, but uh, they'll be taking part in that particular uh, series starting this 13th of March. So what we can really do? It's, it's a very exciting journey, uh, journey that, uh, that lies ahead of us. Um, you know, I've, I've, uh, you know, I, words can't really describe it. It's a, a dream come true to be standing on this stage, um, you know, as a part of uh, Sport Pesa Racing Point uh, F1 team uh, here in, in Canada, launching the car. It's, um, it's. Bernard, this uh, Sport Pesa has a very serious blueprint or footprint across <laughs> the world. Uh, Gormahia, AFC, yeah. Torino, Everton. Uh, they are in the South African League. Yeah. They, are, they, they are across now. They're in motorsport. Of course, they sponsor some of the motorsport, uh, the likes of uh, Leo Varese in the national, Kenya National Rally Championship. Yeah. How significant is this? Uh, I'll, tell, I'll tell you something. You know, they, they, there's the business of sport, business. And uh, when you're in business, you want your brand to be seen. And if your brand transcends barriers and, and borders and goes uh, across the world, then you're a successful brand. You know, previously, the only brand that you could say has been seen around the world is uh, a beer brand. Yes. That is very well known <laughs> around, you know. That was for personal entertainment. Yes. So to see, uh, to see another brand, I, I tell you, to me, this would be very big success. To see another brand that you can call Kenyan that is uh, going across the borders and going to Europe and going into one of what we call the elite sports. Yes. Uh, this, this is really good. Never mind the fact that they're, they're pronouncing it Sport Pesa. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, the Italians, the Portuguese, yes. where there's an S, they put a Z. Yes. So it's very normal for them to say Sport Pesa, you know, instead of Sport Pesa. But look at the word Pesa itself. Whoever chose that word, uh, that name, eh? No, okay. knew what he was doing. It's a very simple syllable. It's very easy syllabic sound, Sport Pesa. It's actually three, Sport 
Pesa. It's just three syllables. So they can pronounce it very easily. It will be on everybody's lips, especially if they do well. I am taking uh, cognizance of the fact that you put Ferrari last in your list. You started with others, others, <laughs> others, <laughs> others, and then Ferrari. Yeah? But it's okay. No problem. <laughs> but yes, if they could do as well as the others are, are doing in Formula One, yeah. This is going to be on everybody's lips. This is an international brand at the moment. We only hope that uh, they can also do at home, you know, the, 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 big the, things that can be noticeable, that can change the face of sport in this part of the world. And of course, yeah. getting there because you, uh, last weekend, uh, you officiated, uh, you, I mean, you commentated uh, Gormaya versus AFC Leopard. And when it comes to that, my face changes because <laughs> AFC. <laughs> Because I know where you are and where no, I am. No, 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 where am I? No, no, no. This, this is Moshe Meji Derby. I, 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 and, and it's sponsored by Sport Pesa, both it's, sides. It's eh? Plus the day itself, it was very well organized. I must tell you, security was good. Um, everything was, was, was really good. And we just come from, uh, um, the, from the Super Cup as well, which was again organized by Sport Pesa. Again, everything was running like clockwork. You know, the giving of the trophy and all that. And then there was the uh, Sport Pesa uh, Cup now yes. again in Tanzania. Yes. And again, it was very well organized right up to the end. Uh, Really, they're doing what they can possibly do to make sure everything is running well in sports, in the sport they're involved in. CSR yeah. is perfect. What was Sport Pesa? Apo mkona watu wanafanya kazi, awalali. Mugambi Thika itukondani, Thika is of course where Bernardo Tena normally spends most of the time, apo kwa hiyo stadium. Kinyua babarigan, unasema yes. Thank you to Barado Tieno, anakuaga na sauti mzuri yone maoni yako. Bobo Wino, please tell us how far you've come from Bernard. Your story, because I remember my first day of listening to you was in the World Cup 1998 in France. When Bonuna revealed Who's Nyaka that? Yabana. Is, that, is that Bobo Wino? Yes, Bobo Wino from my, my God, Manage. Bob really loves football, doesn't he? He does. If, does he follow me or does he follow football? Uh, I, 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 think can't, I can't take a corner without encountering the name Bob Wino. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you, 98 is a long time back, but yes, that was the World Cup. That was my big break. That was my big break in 1998. It was massively big. Uh, how did you reach yeah. the World Cup? No, no just, uh, as we just continue, how did you reach the World Cup? You now know, that Bob um, Wino has asked that question. In, in this industry, when you do good things, uh, people, people look for you. You don't look for, for, for people. They look for you when you do good things. And I think um, uh, my first major international event was actually the 1997 World Athletics Championships in Athens and from that one I, I got to be considered for the World Cup. Here I was doing mostly soccer here in Kenya but then when I went for the athletics uh, everybody thought wow that was a good job but then they remembered there was also still athlete, uh, football that I did and then they, they drafted me in for uh, in a team of commentators from, from Africa for the World Cup wow. and, and I, also, I always say when you're in this part of the world when you get a chance that's all you need. You just need a chance. You just need an opportunity. And when you get that opportunity, show what you got. Do it like it's the last time you're doing it. Like you'll never be given another chance. So I, I just did it to my best and that's all. The rest has uh, just fallen in place. Has just fallen in place. Yeah, and Bob knows that. He's been following <laughs> football. <laughs> hey, Bob, you know. Hey, Bob, you know. Hey, Bob, Andy Mark, how can I get international contact to African, the African jury? I remember he did France 98 to legend. Yeah, you see? That, it, it still comes up. It's, you know, interestingly, in this in communication, people remember just the first thing and the last thing. So people will probably remember when I first did it, and maybe when I sign out, they'll remember only the last thing. It, it happens like that. I don't know what he wants. I, I don't know what he wants. Yeah, he, he just contact. wanted, uh, I mean, international, some, to get a contact from someone at least who can give them. But uh, no, no, that's not what he said. Read what he said. How can I get in, in tea? In touch, that means. In touch. With, okay. with uh, what? I'm, I'm, yeah. in, in touch. <laughs> in contact with the African with. jury. Wait, wait. Ah, I don't have to get in touch no, now. You, yeah, on yeah. Facebook, on Twitter, on WhatsApp. Through you at Akpata. Through well, you at Anipata. I no told you, I, I rub shoulders <laughs> with the people who matter in town. <laughs> <laughs> Through you, they will find me. Yeah, <laughs> big Thank you very much. Now, you know, I'm going to get a job. I'm a consultancy. Now, of course, uh, there's also an issue about Neymar. Neymar uh, has so many girlfriends, has a lady who has a boy with him, uh, David, uh, has also... Now, this latest lady is known as... A Vic uh, this should be Victoria Bonya. Victoria Bonya has come out and said that... Uh, she, she's 39 years old, by the way. When you're 39 years old. Well, imagine where you're going to be, even when you're going to be 20. You're going to so, of course, uh, the lady has confessed that she was the only one who brought gifts for Neymar during uh, his 27th birthday in Paris. Oh, Paris. Paris. Okay. Uh, Paris is Gina Ningumu Sana. So, uh, Bruna, who is the girlfriend that we know to Neymar, was not at that particular birthday bash. Mm. Only this one. Uh, so, do the mathematics. One plus one equals two. Two. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this issue of gifts is tough, eh? Yeah, I tell you, I mean, look at... Uh, this issue yeah, of gifts is very especially tough. Especially for yesterday. And I, but I saw it, that there's a caption there saying Nui Rouge. 
it means red night. It was a red night. Yes, it was a red and theme And they were all dressed in red, yes. Yes, everybody was in theme red. So what's the issue here? Neymar has done what? No, Neymar has a girlfriend, you know, Bruna. And yes. that one we know, the Brazilian uh, yes. top model. Yes. Now, this girl was the only one who brought gifts as the only lady at that particular event. The and one event, from Brazil or this other one? No, the one from Brazil was not even invited. Oh, so this other one brought gifts? Uh, yeah, for the And he event. accepted the gifts? Kabisa. So what's the, what's the deal? The deal is, uh, kuna wasiana wengi, kuna mama mtoto, kuna Bruna, <laughs> na kuna uyu Victoria Bonya, a Russian model. Well, let her give to her. Let her enjoy gifts. <laughs> Let's move. Mama mtoto atabakia tu mama mtoto. Ule ame let her gift, gift za chukuliwa, bas. Uzema kuna mgini mgani. You know, I tell you, it's so hard being a superstar. And I don't know how they manage it. I, I didn't think we'd be giving marriage counseling or advice. Eh? Yeah. But Nima has things to deal with. He's falling, Uko. He has to deal with it. He's uh, staff in Paris, in football. He has to deal with it. Now he has to deal with gifts, deal with girlfriends, deal with baby mama. <laughs> These things are normal. Ma uh, these are part of uh, yeah, man, yeah. Ma you need to You need to manage them. It's very important to manage them. Some things don't need to go into the media. But I guess this is good hype for him. It, ju it just means he's um, a very likable person. He's not married, so he has he not... Is, he's, yeah. He has not... Um, uh, and, and somebody brought him gifts, and he hasn't said whether they accepted or And they hug each other when they're giving those gifts. Oh, yeah. 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 It's uh, life, man. I tell you, Barato Chero in the house. These are questions that we in the Now, talking still about the sexiest people that nine are looking sexy, they use the most... Se Okay, according to what we tell you, the most sexiest female referee in the world. She's called uh, Claudia Romani, if I'm not wrong. She's an Italian. Officiates. Just to be Claudia. In Claudia. The Claudia, yeah. Mm. She officiates the Serie A and Serie B or Segunda. Eh? Yeah, segunda. Those, eh, segunda. Se no, Seconda Liga. <laughs> seconda. It's Italian? Eh, it's seconda, Italian. Seconda, seconda, seconda. Yeah. Seconda Liga. So this lady apparently unleashed some very uh, plus 21 pictures. <laughs> 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 and she's a referee. So yeah. I, I think uh, this is good. I mean, uh, I'm sure you've met uh, referees. Uh, have you ever heard of sexy referees, Bernard? Uh, you uh, know, have you ever I, seen? I, I'm I, sure I, you've do, them. I do mostly the Kenyan Premier League, eh? and there <laughs> that issue never comes up. It's just yellow <laughs> cards and red cards. Eh? And when it's given to you, it's given to you just the same way as a man would be giving it to you. Eh? So it sends you out of the field. So you never look <laughs> beyond that when you're playing. Eh? You just look at whether you're in the rules or not. But I really like the fact that... Um, uh, women's football has made giant strides in the world. Eh? Yeah. We have the Women's World Cup, the Women's Under-17, um, uh, the Women's AFCON, the Women's Under-17, and all that. Eh? Now we have even women referees refing men's matches. If you blink, as we say, you'll be punished. True. So if you spend too much time looking at uh, not the rules and yes. anything else, yes. you will be punished. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> It's the first spot I'm here with Manado Cheno. And Tony Kolanda himself. Now what's Maswali ni mingi sana hapa. Bernard, they ask, give us prediction between Chelsea and Manu on Monday. Apana, apana, apana. This is one thing that people always do. When they win, yeah, I mean, I know, I know where they're taking those predictions. <laughs> when they meet, when they win, they don't tell you. Yes, when they lose, they blame they you. Blame. Ah, when you only say my boy, you say my boy. Apana, we only know that our team will do well. That's all. <laughs> Uh, um, Ambassador Robert Rono say you want to be a referee. Do you want to a football commentary? Sasa you want to be a referee? Or have you ever officiated a game? Or <laughs> I'm missing something here. <laughs> in, a, in, a, in, a, in a school sports day. <laughs> <laughs> Those are many, many years ago. In a school sports day. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Mm. And then, of course, there are people who Timor Rastak from Dandora that are saying thank you very much for the comment you give to them. And uh, uh, still with the football commentary, um, in Kenya, where can people really get to? Where, where is your stepping stone? Is it in schools? Would we have an organization where people can really go to football commentary? Ama you just become a no, commentator. You know, okay, to home, kwa YouTube, we record, ah, la, 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 then Bernardo Jenny will select you out for. No, no, no. You see, uh, these are some of these are those things we call um, talent-based jobs. Eh? Talent-based jobs, there's no school you can go to. But first of all, you must just understand the game itself. Yeah. Whichever game you want to commentate on, you must understand it first of all. And after that, then you must say something more about that game. You know, commentary on television is different from commentary on radio. On radio, you don't have pictures. You only have the sound of the, co of the commentator. And so he has to create images in your mind. And so he uses a lot of adjectives, a lot of descriptions. When he tells you, I'm a big um, kwadio pale kimo cha kuku, you, <laughs> you, you think, yeah, uh, the chicken. Western people will understand very nicely. But they might even ask me, ni, ni kuku gani, ni, ni ile kutaiwa, <laughs> you know? But when he says kimo cha kuku, he yeah. puts it in your mind that it's at this yeah. level. Yeah. But then somebody might also say kimo cha nyoka or a grass cutter. So yeah. what is it? That's on radio. Yeah. On television, you can see. So it's important for the commentator to tell you more about yeah. what you can see. It's a bus, yes. What kind so of bus is it? Bus. Is it a blue bus? Is it a mini bus? 
Is it, how many seats is it? Uh, does it have, how many wheels does it have? Is it a PSV? What is it about that bus, you know? Does it have a sunroof? What is it? Is it being driven by, who is driving it? How many people can it carry? You give people more about what they can see. Yeah. It can't be just about recording yourself. Yeah. You've got to know the game yeah. itself yeah. and give something more about the game. History is good. Uh, information is good. What do you do with that information? Because commentary is an art, but it's also a science. Yeah. You, you have information, you're managing that information. I can have information about Tony Kualanda, but if we haven't seen him on the field, that information will just be information. Because, But if we see him coming in and you give that information, then it becomes better information. So you're managing that information as well. But also it's an art. art yeah. How are you bringing out that information? Mm -hmm. So if Tony is wearing a suit and he's coming to the stadium and we have information that yesterday he was wearing, uh, a tracksuit, different from what he's wearing now. How do you bring in that information? That's where the art comes in. Very true. You have to be creative in how you're bringing in that information. In 20 yeah. seconds, how can people... Uh, come to where you are seated in uh, Kenyan Premier League matches in international. Uh, how can they? Uh, you've worked for Supersport. You you work for as in you you all over the place. How can someone? How can I be a commenter? Uh, you've said the nitty gritty, but how it's, can someone make good. that it's, that bold step? I always say that it's a talent based job. If you have talent, that would be good. It brings you there. But then again, if you are a journalist and you want to do this, it becomes even better because you have ethics that you are upholding and you have uh, the training to be a journalist. Because we call ourselves broadcast journalists. We what you what people write, we we, we talk. And you must make sure you're not defaming, you're not libeling and all that. Eh? So know your spot. Uh, don't, be, don't be anybody else. Don't copy uh, yeah. Leonard Mambo Botella. Yeah. Yeah. He's there. We can find him if we wanted him. So don't copy him. What, what broth are you cooking with the ingredients that you've been given that might make you be different in this same industry? That's what it is. You, you must just be yourself. Be creative. Uh, know the game. Um, have a good voice, of course. Know how to express your voice. And, and then uh, fuse in information, entertainment, and education into one. Bernard yeah. Otieno, the voice behind what you listen to on our Kenyan Premier League, uh, that is our top flight league. Internationally, he has been with the World Cups. He, has, he knows everything about football across the world. I brought him to you. You have seen him. Now it's your job to contact me so that you can go through. <laughs> Mini broke, I'm buyer. <laughs> Thank you very much, Barat, for Thanks, making sir. time. We appreciate. Definitely, we can discuss so many things. We will have sure. more time to keep going. We relaunch station. Mzuri kuba kumtu takuja. Brilliant. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Karibu Sana. K24 Sports Hub hashtag Tony Kolanda at Kolanda at K24 TV. This is the only place you can get such kind of stuff. Good afternoon.